Hey sons, this is Jay coming to you from the garage. I want to show you uh, something that I just always get a lot of joy out of and God tends to speak to me a lot through it. Check out this plant. But look how weepy it is because it hasn't had water. It just looks pretty pathetic. So you water it and I just want to show you a time lapse of how quickly uh, it will suck up that water and be brought back to its normal health because God speaks to me so much about how quickly he is able to come and revive us if we just kind of drink in what it is our, our body and our soul most need. So I'm just gonna leave this here, see how long it takes. Thus says the Lord, Cursed is the man who trusts in man and makes flesh his strength, whose heart departs from the Lord, for he shall be like a shrub in the desert, and shall not see when good comes, but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness, in a salt land which is not inhabited. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, and whose hope is in the Lord, for he shall be like a tree planted by the waters, which spreads out its roots by the river, and will not fear when heat comes, but its leaf will be green, and will not be anxious in the year of drought, nor will cease from yielding fruit. Jeremiah 17, 5 through 8. Hey, son, so why do I share that with you? It's because all of us are sapped right now. All of us are living on a very diminished capacity. If you're like me, you are so much quicker to anger and to lose your patience these days and your attention span is so short that what we tend to do is look for a little bit of life or a little bit of relief in things that are the externals like we're treating an internal problem with externals kind of like watering a plant in the wrong way by you know th trying to water the bark or trying to water the leaves it just doesn't work what we need is a deep deep soak in what is true what is nutritionally uh, fortifying and and that means god his word fellowship with other righteous people and it, we have to hunt that down because it just seems like the ratio of evil and dark and discouraging against what's righteous and good and wholesome and, and life-giving is like a hundred to one right now. Like you have to search it out. But what I am finding and what I'm hoping that you're seeing it is as the dark is getting darker these days, the light is getting lighter. And what God's doing in me is he is helping me discover those portions of my life that need to be cleaned up that are um, not strong. And he's giving me the opportunity to find strength for my feeble legs and to fortify my weak heart. And he's making me aware that looking at YouTube and, and going and getting coffees at Starbucks and the things that in the past felt like, you know, they were sustaining and life giving in the day, they're just not that anymore. It's just not near enough. The season that we are entering into right now absolutely requires that we are well nourished with with the nutrients and with the watering that can only come with a deep deep work and so I want to I just wanted to show you that you know the way that God designed plants to grow is is exactly the same way that we're designed to grow you just you just have to feed them in the proper way and then they'll bloom and they'll flourish. And just one last thought, if you go to the book of Revelation at one point, um, hell is released, uh, literally the abyss is opened up and these spirits are given, uh, they're given permission to rampage on the earth and to destroy, but there's a command to those spirits, don't touch any green thing. So I think it's important that we figure out what it is that allows our souls to be green and flowering and we stay green. So brothers, until next time, 
stay green.